guys, it is Megan Hoopy and welcome back to our channel. So this time is we're going to continue the hour with the beauty neon obsession palette series. Series talaga yung term ko. So last time is ang ginawa natin or ginamit nating palette is yung kanilang neon pink and this time is we're going to use this. This one is neon green and actually guys before we started, I actually wanted to say na di ba last time ang sabi ko is when it comes to their shimmery palette or shimmery pants. I actually find it hard to work with. I don't want to say that I am an influencer, talaga. Pero if I ever influence you in a negative way, so if you're interested in the palette, na yon, tapos dahil nga sa naging review ko es para na bisma yung kayo, don't be guys. So you can still actually proceed on purchasing it. Because for me, ah, yun naging review ko last time is hindi naman talaga siya parang okay. Hindi siya parang pwede mong gamitin na parang basihan. Kasi Lee Louise is nag-work talaga siya with loose pigments. Tapos, of course, Huda Beauty is not actually going to formulate their or her product talaga na parang mag-match kay Lee Louise. So, walang something na parang men for each other talaga. So, uh, dun sa naging review ka last time, please disregard it if ever. Tapos, Ayo, ni kasi continue purchasing it. Kung talagang gusto ng gusto niyo, and then ayo, magjan ng gusto niyo ako last time sa akin ng review. But actually, it's fine din kasi parang first impression ka lang din naman siya. Tapos ayo, let's not try to parang degrade or parang judge each other brand based on how it reacted with each other. So parang ganon. Kung gusto niyo talaga na pinulis din ko, pinulis kung gusto niyo ng huda din ko, huda. Tapos ayo. If ever man, when it comes to using yung mga shimmery eyeshadows na yung mga pants, is actually we can work with it naman na parang naturally. Yung ginagawa natin na usually finifinger lang tapos application or winuwet natin yung ating brushes. So traditional tayo na gagawa nun. So ayun, napakita ko na kanina. This is our eyeshadow for tonight. So ito siya guys. Ayun, kinakabahan na naman niya ako pero I will try to do something with this na lang. Um, dito, as you can see, meron siyang tatlong matte. So, this one is parang uh, honeydew and then lime green. Tapos, this one is parang pomelo or parang salmon. So, parang ganun yung kanya mga colors. And then, the rest are shimmery. So, meron siya parang gold dito, gold glitters. Tapos, ayan, this one is, may pagka-champagne pa to na ewan. So, parang beige and rose color. Tapos, this one is more on white white, parang white na glitter yung flashback niya tapos pink, ayan tapos ito yung kanilang holographic parang number 85 ng inlot so ayan, tapos ito talaga yung kanilang pearl white we're going to dig in now with our palette, tapos pala guys diba, Louise, if ever you check yung kanilang website, they are actually selling their own makeup brushes so yung tinatawag na acid rain And actually, based on their reviews and also the pictures, I think you can see, guys. So don't mind the pigmentation or the mga stains dito. Because this one, talaga is parang 2015 kapag brushes sa acrylic painting materials ko. So basically, this is the halos ka itsura ng kanya na acid rain na eye brush. So this one, guys, tapered siya tapos ayon yung dulo niya is sobrang nipis, especially kapag may product na niya. Nakita ko lang na parang medyo similar siya kasi they uploaded a video yung parang comparison ng new and semi-new tapos yung super old na ng brushes. So ayan, based on the shape kasi yung nagagawa nila. Tapos ito ay actually use this sa acrylic paint ko para makapag-flat ako na color. So ayan, this one is just 50 pesos sa Jollies. Or Jollies, sa may limon ng BST. Tapos ito yung medyo rate na a brush na. Nilaban ko siya kanina. I mean, nilinis ko siya kanina, pero hindi ko siya na-press nung papatuyin ko na. So, medyo tumitipas yung ibang part, but it's okay. Ito naman is parang small version nito. Tapos, ito, nilaban ko rin siya. That's why medyo nakabuhaghag yung dulo, but it's fine. Lalo pag nabasa siya, it's okay naman siya. Tapos, ito pa. Ito yung isa sa gusto ko. Kasi, this one is yung flat angled brush na pang carve out ng paggawa ng eyeliner nila using other pigments nila, lalo yung mga pigmented na tulad nito. Basta parang oil paint siya na ewan. Tapos, napakita ko pa sa inyo is yung aking isa pang favorite 
Kung gusto ko na mas precise na tulad nito, is I have this one. Ibang brand naman siya, and this one is nabili ko sa Beaver, which is yung bilihan talaga ng mga art materials, parang ganun. So, yun siya. Mas maliit. Of course, ito kasi mas okay yung spudding nito. Pero, pag gusto mo na mas precise, yan. This is actually my old uh, pomade brush. Yung mga ang sakit na bagay sa pomade. Ito yung ginagamit ko before. Pinakita ko na sa inyo guys kasi para if ever man na meron din feelings and then you don't want it to buy uh, their boots na talaga or their brushes. Pwede naman kami yung practical somehow. Just for it na lang. So, doon na kami bilang sa Beaver. Pero ako silang website or pwede kayong bumili online. So, ganun. Kung malapit sa inyo, see much better. Mas alam nyo yun. So, let's now do it in this. Zero one. Actually, kinakabahan ako kasi first time ko nang gagamitin siya. Actually, eh, naging flat din naman siya. So, much better. ginagawa niya. So, gagawin ko yun lang. Siyempre, yung style ko. Kasi, hirap gumaya na gumaya ng style ng ibang artist. Sa totoo lang. So basically guys, this is the first coat or first layer and then nagagawin ko muna is I'm going to brush up my brows para mas ma-work ko yung underneath. Kasi alam nyo na minsan meron mga nakawabang brows so medyo kalangit siya yun natin. Yeah. 